Hello and welcome back to another news video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni, and once again we're looking at another upcoming event. And you might be wondering, wait a minute, it's January, why are we getting All Saints Wake? It's because, unfortunately, they weren't able to do it last year. Uh, so this is actually last year's Halloween event that was to be happening, but unfortunately due to COVID and delays and do I need to go on this is happening now so they didn't want to leave us without you know an all saints wake especially since so much work went into it so here we are we have all saints wake technically 2022 it says death and dining at the phantom's feast and we have this wonderful creepy honestly artwork at the top here if you are sensitive to clowns then yeah uh, we have ghouls and ghosts and vampire Lalafell potatoes in the background. We have the normal looking limbs of Leminson. Then we have some ghosties on here. And, as, and of course, this horrible blood dripping clown, or at least that's what I think. It's obviously makeup. So this is the uh, event taking place then Thursday, January the 20th, two days after my birthday at 12 a.m. PST, and lasts until Wednesday, February the 2nd at 6.59 a.m. PST. Once again, this will be available to players who are level 15 and above, and who have accessed the World Travel, which is locked behind It's Probably Pirates, which is the level 15 um, story quest. So this then kicks off at 10.4x, Y8.4 in the Adventurer's Guild uh, investigator near Miketo's amphitheater. It says, All clowns wake. The Adventurer's Guild investigator is on the lookout for a suspiciously scary personage. Looks to be quite, ex uh, well, exciting. Uh, I like the little bats here as well. I would like those, um, you know, for, for something. I don't know why I want the bats. I just want the bats. And this is then what the reward is this time. We've seen minions before. We've seen mounts before. And of course it is time for a glamour this then is a clown outfit which um i'm sure people will be freaked out by <laughs> i suppose this is you know there's something for everyone in this game um some people have like the the fear of clowns i don't know if that's going to be for everybody but of course we have a five piece armor set which is nice we have a clown's hat uh, let's look at these. So the clown's hat then is equipable by all classes in the game, level 1 and above, both genders. I'm interested to see if Rothgar and Vieira can wear that hat. I I don't know. Maybe maybe we shouldn't get our hopes up, but hopefully? It is a diable piece, though. This is a full diable set. Uh, we have a chess piece then, look, which is pretty nice. Then we have clown short gloves. We have clown's bottoms and then clown's boots. So that's the glamour in all of its glory. Uh, it is diable. I like the ruffled neck, personally, but this is a very old-fashioned sort of carnival clown, isn't it? Quite creepy. Well, obviously, that's the point. It is, of course, Halloween or All Saints Wake in, in the game. So um, who knows what this event will be like. Hopefully, they bring back the Haunted Manor, like Hawk Manor, as a, as a visitable area. That was always fun before. Um, but yeah, so those that's, that's the main thing. Personally, I quite like that glamour in places, mostly the ruffled neck, but overall it's it's um well, it's 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 interesting. I do like the top hat. Hopefully we have a visor command to turn off this nose and face paint if the face paint comes with it. I think it might do. Let's zoom in even further. It looks like face paint comes with this uh with the hat. So um I just want a top hat. I know I could probably go do, like, Dunscape or something to get a top hat, but you know what I mean? Just a, a regular top hat would be awesome. And then also we have the modern con... Oh, it's a oh, it's not! Oh my goodness, I should have waited. The modern cosmetics clowning around. The realm's premier publication on cosmetics, as well as a dating service, and for some reason, poli uh, politics... Thus, this co a copy of modern cosmetic covers, in detail, techniques for painting an appropriately spooky clown pattern on one's face. Used to unlock a new face paint at EF's Fetition. Oh, interesting. So before, we've actually had um, face paint in, in the... Well, we've got it in the cash shop now. But we had this before with, like, the, the bat and the spider sort of face paint. Oh, that's really cool. 
Oh, right. So the nose is probably a visor command. So we might be able to see the hat without this. And then the face paint is actually a cosmetic choice. So that means you can have that clown. <gasps> that means you can have the clown face paint without the hat all the time. You could make a Kefka. You could make a Kefka glamour and actually have clown face paint to go with it. And it's just the right one as well. Oh, that's got me all kinds of excited to see people uh, dressing up as Kefka now. That's freaking awesome. Oh, I'm really, really happy with this. And as well as that, we also get two housing items. I believe uh, one of them is outdoor, one of them is indoor. That's nice. The outdoor furnishing is a haunted pumpkin set that says, Quite why ghosts would wish to haunt an assortment of prize gourds is anyone's guess. Perhaps they were the vengeful spirits of runners-up in a vegetable growing contest. And also, the indoors one is a tabletop item, which appears to be more pumpkin. Oh, it's like flowers out of a pumpkin, like a pumpkin vase. Ghosties around it that says, What does one call a gourd capable of supporting plant life? A Gordon. Oh, that's terrible. Is that Koji Fox? Koji, are you serious? <laughs> the man's puns and jokes know no bounds. And I have to say it's probably him responsible for that. It's somebody on that team and he does most of the translation work. So shame, sir. Shame. <laughs> but what, an, what a fantastic event. I think these, uh, these rewards are really cool now, actually. I was a little bit worried that the face paint was part of the hat, but it's it's a separate entity and that offers so many options of cool like Kafka ideas and like I say other ideas as well. But we've also got bits and pieces for a glamour, a top hat, hat and stuff, all dyeable. Yeah, get it whilst it's available until it goes into the cash shop next year because that's usually what happens. What a fantastic lineup of event items. Two housing items, specifically one indoor, one outdoor, perfect. A, a cosmetic item for your character for face paint that will be able to be used on your Viera and probably rough. Uh, mm, we'll wait and see. And then a glamour set. It remains to be seen if we can wear the top hat on a rough guy, though. That must happen. We need that to happen. And uh, hopefully the bunny ears just stick out the top of the hat. But anyway, let me know what you think about these event items. If you're excited for technically All Saints Wake 2022. I don't know if there'll be two All Saints Wakes this year or if this is now the, the new spot for this or if they... <laughs> is there going to be two 2022 All Saints Wakes or are they going to skip it in October? We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm excited for this event. I'll show all of the stuff in the game when obviously it's available. Um, have a good one and I'll see you all next time. I'm excited to see what people think of this. But yeah, I can't do a Kafka laugh, but that, that was my terrible attempt. Bye-bye.